back on site today. If you look down to your left, you can see that a number of the stud walls are already in place. This here is what I'm working on now, and these are not actually in place yet, but I wanted to show you guys how I kind of set up these stud walls and make them so that they fit the space that's actually here as opposed to the space that's supposed to be here. The floor is supposed to be at a certain height. This beam, this bottom, is supposed to be at a, at a certain height. Boards are supposed to be at a particular thickness, but in the real world, there's variability to all of those things. So what I'm doing is I'm individually measuring each board and putting it into place. And the way that I do that is on the bottom, I have both the sill and the header of this wall. And, uh, one of these boards is gonna be up at the top here, and one of them is gonna stay at the bottom, but I have them both down there just to account for the thickness of the boards. Once I uh, get everything measured and uh, you know, cut to the correct size, I'm gonna be taking the header and moving it up to the top and, and assembling it that way. But for now, it's easy just to have them stacked on the floor, and that way you're accounting for the both of the thicknesses of the bottom sill and the top header. Uh, and this is the next board I'm going to be putting into place. I've numbered every single uh, location where a stud goes in, and I'm numbering each stud as they go in because each of these is customs, uh, custom measured for exactly where it's going in. So I've got this in place. I've got it just on the edge of, uh, of the, the boards down there, so it's not at too much of a crooked angle. It's a little bit of a crooked angle, but not very much of one. And now I'm sighting right along the bottom edge of this, and I'm going to make a mark on this board right here. So I've got my mark, and I'm going to bring it over and give it a cut. I brought the saw down here because I'm doing so much work down here. It didn't make sense to be running up and down the stairs every time. Okay, I'm going to do the cut. And bring it over. And we'll see how it fits. That's a good amount of snugness. It's not too snug, but it's not too too loose. That's a, I feel pretty good about that. I think it'd be okay if it was a little bit le uh, less tight than that. That would be fine because whenever you nail things together, there's always some little gaps, so the wall will be, tend to be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And since that one fits in, this is slot number nine. I'm gonna number that one nine. The reason I wait until the end is, let's say I cut that one a little too short, uh, for here, uh, you know, you can't add length back to it, but what I would do is if I cut it too short, I'd check it at all the other locations and see if there was a place where it happened to fit in perfectly, and then I would number it for whatever location that was. But as it worked out, I cut this one just right, and it fits in really well. So I'm going to continue getting all these cut, and then I'm going to lay it all down in this space that I have cleared, bang the wall together, and then throw it up. All by myself. I don't have help today. I think that should be fine, though. It shouldn't be too, too heavy. That's it.